Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Iron Danger. This is a tactical combat game with very cool time manipulation mechanic that blends the tactical depth of turn-based games with the action of real-time strategy. Here you will be in control of two characters and will use a variety of skills and your IQ to overcome the challenges. I'm not gonna lie, I tried the game and my brain was overheating. The core of Iron Danger is its unique time control mechanic. You can rewind time for up to 5 seconds whenever you want, trying different strategies and combinations of moves until you find the right one for the task. Although be warned that battles feel a bit clunky, and this is because the time rewinding sometimes feels endless. You dodge one attack, then you are hit by another, so you rewind time and do something different, but then you are hit by a third attack, so you rewind again and again and again. Your characters can only take two or three hits at max before they die, so you will be rewinding all the time. In general, you can't really die here <laughs> if you choose so. That is a curse and a blessing in one. Anyway, this prize is the right one for this game. 4 euros, that's what I'm happy to pay. You'll find all the links to the games in the description below. Control Ultimate Edition. This version contains the main game and all previously released expansions in one great value package. Here, a corruptive presence has invaded the Federal Bureau of Control, and only you have the power to stop it. The world around you is now your weapon in an epic fight to annihilate an ominous enemy through deep and unpredictable environments. The plot is quite simple. Containment has failed, humanity is at stake, so it's time to kick some paranormal ass. SCP vibes are really strong here. To be fair, this game feels like you are in a dream all the time, well, nightmare to be exact, because everything is changing all the time, but this time you are in control. Yeah, pun intended. So the game is not that scary, but it's ominous, that's for sure. Even if you eventually get bored by this title, I can promise you that it will entertain you with the maximum strength for at least 3 hours. That's if you don't like the game. If you like it, prepare to sink another 20. Absolo and of Gods. In this future Viking horror, you awaken a sanctuary of steel and concrete, build to research and exploit the worlds of Yggdrasil and to house an artifact buried in the earth eons ago. Your task is to unveil the secrets of the mythology, the artifacts and the realms of Yggdrasil. People are talking that Absolo has wonderful gameplay elements, progression and mechanics. Game has no jump scares, so if you are afraid of those, just grow a pair. But in the meantime, keep calm and play the game. It is very short though, it will burn about 5 hours of your boring life. A Plague Tale Innocence you will take control of a young Amisha and her little brother Hugo in a journey through the darkest hours of Europe's history. Hunted by Inquisition soldiers and surrounded by unstoppable swarms of rats, kids struggle to survive against overwhelming odds. Dead rotten bodies lay everywhere and rats, oh, those creatures can and will eat anyone alive who does not carry a light source. This is what makes this game a low-key fantasy. You know, rats are no vampires. I used to own one, it loved bathing in the sun rays, although keep in mind that the atmosphere in this game is grim and dark, so if you are a sensitive person, it may prove a challenge to play it. White Shadows this is a cinematic puzzle platformer where you play as a little raven girl trying to escape a brutal dystopia founded on oppression and violence that puts you in the bottom of the social ladder. Reminds me of nowadays Russia. The city, composed of vast networks of towers rising from the void of post-apocalyptic darkness, is a dangerous place. Not as dangerous as your ex-mother-in-law, but still, you have to be very careful and not to become a victim of vicious machinery, leap across rickety infrastructure and avoid the watchful eye of gods ready to gun you down. The game is pure art, a really well-made limbo clone to be fair, but it has some cons as well. The platforming part is kinda clunky, and this is a platformer, <laughs> you know. So also a game is really short, but this is why we buy games on sale. Now the price is right, check the game out. Other side. This turn-based game takes you on a journey to a world that has yielded to the pressure of evil forces from another dimension. During the game you take control of the heroines known as daughters, who face the invaders no matter what price they have to pay. Game has an incredible art style and that distinguishes it from many other similar games. Also other side implements permadeath mechanics, which means that after the death of the protagonists they cannot be resurrected. I played this game and I can confirm everything I had. <laughs> just died. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice 
Set in the Viking Age, a broken Celtic warrior embarks on a haunting vision quest into Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade Senua's sacrifice will pull you deep into Senua's mind. And that mind is a crazy one, so the game is pure mindfuck. You will never know what is reality and what is not. The one fact that you will know for sure is that this is a beautiful game. Graphics are almost photorealistic, so if you are a for an eye candy, this game will definitely deliver that. Also, I have read several reviews written by people who never played games of such genre. Everyone was really hesitant to try, because Senua's sacrifice is not something you play every day. But most of the people who took the step out of their gaming comfort zone found out that this game is really cool and told the others, think about it if you are struggling to try. SteamWorld Dig 2 game takes you on a mining adventure forged in Metroidvania flames. When an old trading town is struck by mysterious earthquakes, it's up to you, a lone steambot and your unlikely companion to uncover what trembling terrors lies beneath. And you know what you uncover deep below? Your fat mama. <laughs> Oh, come on, no. It's a secret, you have to discover it by yourself. So you will dig your way underground and explore vivid worlds riddled with treasure, secrets and deadly traps. Fight dangerous enemies at every turn of the underworld, including shadowy creatures and the haunted remains of the ancient electrical threat. Well, this game is obviously story-rich, and that is awesome. Air Memories of Old Art again! As one of the last few shapeshifters, you are sent on a pilgrimage to the land of gods, and you will have to uncover the secrets that will help save reality itself. So here you'll fly around and explore surroundings by transforming into a bird at will. Yeah, it would be a shitty game if your power would be to transform into a snail, turtle, or, you know, a dildo. <coughs> Huge open world along with mysteries, puzzles, and amazing places to visit await you here. People are talking that this is a very entertaining game which doesn't guide you by hand, so there are a few negative comments stating that it was hard to understand where you are supposed to go, so if you are easily confused, keep that in mind. Also the game is very short, 3 hours, it's probably all it will take from your boring life, but at the same time it's a great game for those who often play new games and never finish anything, that's your chance. Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition the game is in the 80th place among the best-rated Steam games of all time. Yeah, I was surprised as well, but now on Steam it costs way more than on GOG, where you can get the main game with all the additional content only for 4 euros. Not gonna lie, that feels like a steal. So it is fair to say that this is the best Tomb Raider game ever released, and if you were thinking about playing a game from this franchise, but couldn't decide where to start, there is your answer. Start here and now. But before you get too excited and buy it, check Check your Epic library, because Epic was given it for free some time ago and you may already have it. If not, you will find the GOG link in the description. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun Echo's Choice on Steam this wonderful real-time tactics has 90% of positive reviews, but on Steam it also costs 20 euros right now, so GOG delivers once again. The game is a standalone expansion of the Shadow Tactics franchise, meaning that you are not required to have the main game to play it and that Echo's Choice is a full game with no strings attached. It is set in Japan around the early Edo period. Echo's Choice is a stealth strategy where the main protagonist is a master of camouflage and distracts enemies disguised as game. But it's not the only character you will be able to control. An agile ninja, mighty samurai, young thief, wise marksman and perverted penis doctor joins your cause as well. Well, maybe not the latter, but you never know. Game has three difficulty levels, but as I see them, they are hard, nightmare and impossible. So I wish they just added two more. Easy and another one for pussies. So I could enjoy this game as well. Don't laugh, it's really hard. That's what he said. So you'll find all the games in the description below and if you buy any of them or any other game using my links anytime, I will get a small amount as well, so you will support my channel this way. The commission fee is only a few cents from a purchase, I'm not getting rich from this, but if I manage to buy one additional vodka bottle every year, that's a win for me. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!